All right, hello everybody and welcome. This is Dashing Dink coming at you with another day of DoorDash, Instacart, and Spark. All right guys, we did get a curbside order. It's three drops. Um, they're kind of in the medium range. One of them's like 47. One of them's 33 and one of them's like 19. But it's only $16 and like 67 cents. There's absolutely no tip on this. We got a little bit of extra earnings. I think it was like 87 cents. But um, I took it just for the fact that I want to be busy and I'm trying to get 60 more dollars uh, in the bank. So hopefully we can get this out here pretty quick and go get these three drop offs. <laughs> Even though we started our day with only $16 and some change, Walmart Spark has been a huge staple in this Sparking My Way to Arizona challenge. I think that we're going to do a very, very good job of reaching our goal of $5,000. Walmart Spark is an app that has paid well, has been very productive, and it's also given me the opportunity to earn extra cash for extra things. Doing gig work, even though some people don't think that it's a real job, is something that affords a person an opportunity to get ahead, pay off debt, go on trips, and make themselves extra money for extra things in life. So if you need a little extra money, or you want an opportunity to get something or get somewhere, try it out. DoorDash, Instacart, Spark, some of these catering apps, Uber Eats, they all are opportunities for you to grow and gain monetarily and financially. So try it out. Don't just sit back and not do it because somebody tells you that it's not a real job. We pay taxes, we do our thing, and we get it done. We do it for our families, we do it for ourselves, and that's what we gotta do. Now let's go back, get some more orders, and continue sparking our way to Arizona. All right guys, we got back and I don't know if the round robins are just coming in later or what, but I got another curbside. It's two drops this time. It's for $26.46, and it's only 3.3 miles. And one order is like 45 quantity, but that includes bags and everything. And then the other one is like nine. So um, should be pretty decent. We're gonna get this delivered. And that'll put us up to like $42 and some change maybe $43 and some change for the night. So not too bad. And we'll see how long this takes. Maybe we can get one more. As you can see in this clip, I am delivering a Walmart Spark to a couple of different people. But this particular one struck me as super awesome because this was an older lady. Uh, she's kind of in a gated community area, retired probably either widowed or just on her own but she had ordered quite a bit of stuff and she had come to the door and was kind of watching me put this stuff out as you'll see here shortly and she said I don't know if I put anything in the app for a tip which she did but at the end of this transaction when I got all of her groceries set out she handed me a five dollar bill through the door which was super nice of her i was making sure to put her bread and her eggs on top so none of that got squished took my photo i asked her if she wanted me to bring stuff in she said no i'll get it from here but thank you so much so very nice lady all right we finish off this night at 43 dollars and 13 cents in about an hour and 40 minutes so not too bad and in the next clips to come, you'll see I'll be out the next day. Thanks, guys. All 
All right, everyone, this is a continuation of our Sparking Our Way to Arizona series. Um, we had a few orders the other day. Uh, today is Wednesday, June, oh my goodness, is it the 11th already? I think it is the 11th. Anyway, it is Wednesday, uh, June 10th or 11th, somewhere in there. And I am planning on doing most of the day today for Spark. Hopefully it's busy and hopefully we can get lots of orders. But take you guys along with me and we'll continue this uh, Sparking Our Way to Arizona series. Here we go, guys. All right, guys, we did get a curbside offer. Um, it came in as an ASAP. We didn't get it at the normal time but we got it at a quarter to um, $24.49 to go 4.9 miles it's two drops both orders are fairly fairly large um, one is like 67 units and the other one is like 49 so but we'll get it in here and um, we'll go deliver those uh, 4.9 miles see you there all right well we started the day off with $24.50, a couple of drops, not very many miles. So this was a good order to start the day. Um, it ended up raining the night before, but the sun was out, it was drying up, and it was actually beginning to be a hot day. I've heard from other spark drivers in other areas and communities that they're not allowed to get out of their vehicles and help the dispensers load uh, into their vehicles. but in the small community that I do gig work in, we're fortunate enough to have a really good relationship with our dispensers, really good relationship with the store and the uh, supervisors and managers. So you will see, I will take groceries or bags out of the bins and I'll put them into my own totes occasionally. And I just try to do what I can to help those dispensers out. We make these couple of deliveries everything goes fairly smoothly and we get our day started now the nice thing about this is you're gonna see me make a running tally through the entire video of our total for the deliveries that I'm making in this video and the reason I'm doing that is so that you can see kind of what a running day series of spark orders looks like but we get the second one dropped off uh, people come out to help sometimes. I let this guy unload a tote while I went and grabbed the second one. And this was Father's Day weekend coming into it. But we get everything done cleanly and we head back to the store to get some more orders. All right, let's talk about Walmart Spark shopping orders. As you can see here, I'm going into the Walmart store because we received a pretty decent shopping order. And I'm picking out the best produce possible here for this customer. But our offer was $27.16 and it was only to get 23 items. So not too bad of an offer at all. And I think it was going like 5.7 or 5.9 miles. When you do Walmart Spark shopping orders, um, the app really brings you through pretty decent where you need to go and what you need to get. Most of the time it's grocery. Sometimes you're gonna have some general merchandise stuff. Um, but the way the app works is it gives you an aisle number, it gives you a section, and it gives you a module. So when you put those three together, it pretty much pinpoints and triangulates your item very, very well. Um, you go through, you scan the item, you grab the quantity that the customer asks for. Most of the time, one, sometimes you'll get two or three of something, whatever. And you just continue to go through the store following the instructions on the app, and it makes it very easy. 
Let's continue to watch as I do some shopping and we'll talk more about the checkout system and that kind of stuff. Okay, so as we finish up here, we're actually finishing up in the over-the-counter section of the store, which has got all of your vitamins and uh, toiletries and things like that. But when you get done, you bring your cart full of items up to the checkout, and all you have to do is scan the barcode that's on the system. You don't have to scan the items across the uh, scanner. If it tells you you're good to go, you just bag up the items and you head out the door. Every once in a while, you get a cart check, and in that case, one of the Walmart employees will come over, scan a couple of your items, and then you're good to go. Then you just bag everything up, you make your way to the customer's house, and you drop everything off. Now this particular gentleman, uh, he took the tote from me and unloaded all of his stuff on his counter, and then he brought it back out. But that's the ins and outs of a Walmart Spark shopping order. All right, guys, we just dropped off that shopping order for a very nice man. Um, he grabbed the tote, brought it in, emptied it on his counter, and brought the tote back out. So didn't have to do anything but stand there and talk to him. Um, now, as I was pulling out of his driveway, I just received another ASAP curbside. It's $26.48 for three drops, and it's going 7.2 miles. So we're going to make our way back to uh, Walmart and get this one loaded up. So far, good day. I won't give too much commentary on this next three drop spark order, but I'll just let you guys sit back, relax, and enjoy what you see. Okay, as you guys can see, I am back into the store doing another shopping order. 
Uh, the sorter was fairly decent. It was $19.60. And I believe it was to shop for 12 unique items. I think 14 total items. So not too bad of an order. As I make my way through the store here, I just want to thank you guys very quickly for subscribing to the channel. We've currently, at the time of my recording this video, hit 333 subscribers. So we are on our way to 400, and that is all a credit to you. I want to thank you guys for sharing my videos. I want to thank you for liking, commenting. Um, I really enjoy the interaction with the comments the live streams, all that kind of stuff. So thank you guys so very much. This has been a very positive, strong, and active community when it comes to gig work and gig tubing. I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of the shopping, and we'll get to you here at the end. All right, as we make our way to the checkout here, um, you'll get to see the process one more time of how that works. But after the shopping order, uh, of course I did the delivery, but I'm gonna call it a video here. We're at 18 minutes. And the end of this video is gonna show $140.86. Now that's over a couple of days, but I still have more clips from this particular day. So our day was actually pretty good. I'll add those to the next video and we'll keep going. But again, I want to thank you guys. I hope that you enjoyed. I'm trying to do things just a little bit differently this time. And I want to thank you so much for watching. And this is Dashing Dink saying, until the next dash. Bye, everyone.